Hello and welcome to the Sunday Preview Rundown. This week we've got robots and chaos and some dwarf. And some chaos dwarf, in fact. Yes, <laughs> yes. Let's start with robots. I shouldn't just say the robots. It's Warhammer of the Horus Heresy. So it's the next expansion, kind of. This is the next campaign expansion and also the next army expansion for Horus Heresy, which is the Mechanicus. Yeah, we got their army box a couple weeks ago, and there was some really cool stuff in there. And now we're getting the solo book release and the solo release of some of the things that were in that army box. Yep, we have the Martian Civil War for the book. Really sweet looking cover. Doesn't really remind me of Mechanicum, but it still looks cool. Yeah, it's... It, I guess we'll talk about this more as we go into the models, because yeah. I like how they showcase the way the Mechanicum has evolved since the Horus Heresy. That's fair. The It's it's similar to the way that like the Guard has... Um, yeah, th things have changed. But with the Mechanicum, some of that old stuff is still around, so you have the contrast between that old stuff and the new stuff. Right. Let's head to the models. Ooh. So, Arc Magos Prime. Uh, I said this looks like Aghanim from Enter the Gungeon, a game that I love that I don't think anyone else knows about. <laughs> but it, that guy is himself a, a priest. So, yeah, it's just he's wearing the priest helmet or the priest hat. Yeah. I like this model a lot. It is very... Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I actually like it a lot too, which is saying something because I don't generally like Mechanicum. But uh, he's he's in big pope hat, and I like it. It's very very funny. It's a big purple hat, big pope hat. <laughs> um, I like his staff, his mitre, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. And then just you know, also a bunch of guns. <laughs> <laughs> Look over here at my holy staff, not over here at my many guns. Yeah, this is a very cool model. Moving and on. Then on to the Phallix cohort, <clears throat> which uh, these are. Plastic remakes of an old Forge World model. Yep. Not that old, honestly. Uh, these are coming out in plastic because I bought them in resin at Last Adepticon, so you're all welcome. Yep, that is uh, the exact reason it's me. happening. Yep, yep. Feel free to thank me in the comments. Um, and I got these in resin uh, because I like them so much. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it is now as good time as any as we talk about the next three models, which are all kind of robots. Mm -hmm. They're all cyborgs, cyborgs technically. They share a lot of visual identity with the Castellan robots, mm. and it's that part of the Mechanicum that really leans into the 1950s retro-futurism Martian sci-fi thing. Yeah, I was thinking, so, uh, what's the one Danger Will Robinson? Oh, uh, Lost in Space. Lost in Space. Had, Lost had in some space, of that vibe. Uh, any number of the adaptations of War of the Worlds. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of the shades of that in there, and in modern Mechanicum, so 40k Mechanicum, you can see that, like, their mo baseline, they don't have as many of that lying around. Mm. They have more things like the Breachers, which are, you know, kind of amalgamations that aren't quite as smooth and aren't quite as well done. Yeah, interesting. And the things they do have that are still from this era, like the Castle Robots, are really old, but still have more of that design philosophy in them. Yeah, I like that. I like the evolution. Yeah, and these are this is my favorite part of Mechanicum. If more of 40k Mechanicum was like this, I might play more of it. Yeah, fair. Speaking of which, let's go to my personal favorite, the Castellix Battle Automata Manipul. Yeah, these are really rem reminiscent of the new ones. Yes, and I really like these. I I just noticed the little skull on, on the front. Yep. Because I'm, I'm the, the, drawn the, to the, the dome. Yeah. Well, that's just it. You shoot at the dome. <laughs> uh, and you're not hitting a little. You're not actually getting a headshot, you know. Yeah, these are uh, nuts I like looking. The, I like the buzz saw. Yep. Who doesn't want buzz saw hands? And that yeah, looks like these are my favorite. On the left side of the left hand one, I I can't parse what that is on his hand because I believe that's a gun with a uh, with um. Is that like a magazine? So uh, what is it called? So is it with uh, Savage Power Blade Arrays or Shock Chargers, with, which have a choice of built-in bolters or flamers. So I believe that's a magazine, a belt-fed magazine yeah, belt on a bolter. Fed. Okay. But yeah, these guys look crazy. I love them. Th these are the ones from the cover, right? Yeah. Yeah. That looks awesome. And then we go in order of increasing size. <laughs> yeah. The Minotaur Cavus Siege Automata? I don't know what the Cavus, Cavus means. But this, this is the big boy. This is Chunky. Yeah, that that thing on his back. Jesus. That gun is... It's a it's a Helix, Helix pla Pattern Plasma Mortar. Dear God. <laughs> is that, like, night size? Because that thing looks... I don't think it's quite night size, but it is pretty big. I'm curious to see. That is a gorgeous model. 
Yeah, like the smooth lines, like compared to a modern Imperial Knight. Yeah. It, it really evokes that we can't do this anymore. Oh. But, you know, that they still could. He still has the little skull on his side, so we can <laughs> reference how big he is. Yeah. He, uh, he looks to be maybe like um, the size of the uh, Norn or something. Yeah, so not quite knight size, yeah. but pretty darn big monster. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Then again, I'm not even a, a Mechanicum fan. I like it. Right. And I guess we'll go now into why I'm not a Mechanicum fan. Uh, the, <laughs> the rest of the, the tech, infantry? <laughs> the Tech Thralls Covenant. Now, I, I say that I'm not a... Like, this isn't what I love in Mechanicum. This is still very Mechanicum. Yeah. Which is like, okay, well, you've got huge expensive robots, so what else do you have? Uh, cheap disposable infantry. How do you make that? I don't know. Lobotomize some dudes? <laughs> yeah, zombify some humans. Whatever. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. Are They're very well done, but they're not what I love about it. Yeah, I actually prefer... So it's weird that I like the the new infantry, but the old robots. Yeah, that yeah, kind of makes sense. Interesting. Sorry, I say new and old is in 40k and 30k. Right, yeah. Uh, but yeah, these are these are... I found it a little weird. I guess, I'm again, I'm not a huge lore fan. I found it a little weird that it was like... And they also have robot zombies. Oh, yeah, it's like if you need to, you know, make loyal, disposable chaff troops, you don't just trust them to be disposable and loyal without making them tech zombies. Well, I mean, ask the guard if that's true. I, I mean, I guess in this time period, they didn't really, the guards were different. They did, they weren't like that. That's true, they weren't. It only took 10,000 uh, more years. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now uh, on to the Trioros Armored Conveyor. Triados, maybe? Armored Conveyor? Yeah, so this Triados. is uh, huge. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I love this uh, design. This, so this is not a super new design. Um, no. Uh, they've had four troll versions of this before. Mm -hmm. But this one's plastic, I believe, and is A, going to be way more affordable, and B, way easier to assemble, and C, still looks really cool. I like that, first off, I want to take, I want to use that front for like a train. Yeah, I don't, the, trunk, the front is the only thing that throws me off, because it looks like a bunch of tubes, but I wouldn't want yeah. a bunch of tubes on the front of my tank. <laughs> uh, I think those tubes are uh, guns. Oh. Well, that changes well, things. No, maybe not. I'm pretty sure that big thing is maybe a gun. Yeah, I see. I think it's just actually supposed to be armored, like, that's like shield generators. Oh, maybe. Tech, uh, energy shields. Yeah, an array of energy shields. That's probably what it is. But yeah, the it's just so unique looking. That's one of the yeah. things I really like about Mechanicum, is they're so unique. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I mean, you could point at 15 other games and, like, that looks like a Tyranid, that looks like a elf, whatever. But, like, these guys are... Mm. Mm. The specific combination of tech-priest Catholicism is very yeah. well done. I, I feel like that's more well done than um, the Space Marines lead on to. Which is yeah, awesome. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, the, the requisite dice. Uh, these are fine. Um, I can read them. Yeah, which is more than I could say about some of the more recent ones. Yep. They're, they're red dice with white pips. Thank you. Yep. That's all we need in life. Exactly. Yep, moving on. Chaos. Chaos. This is a really interesting uh, choice to be next, considering some of this stuff is not very old, and some of this stuff is literally still on the web store. Yeah, uh, a lot of these things were definitely, like, last minute remove them from AOS and put them into... Yeah, it's been, what, a month <laughs> since yeah, Beasts of Chaos thing. was cut? There's some of that in here. So first we've got the uh, the requisite arcane journal. This is how you play these guys in, well, rules to expand the yes. list beyond the main book. So technically not necessary, but yeah. you know, it's going to have some nice stuff on there. What I'm what I'm understanding is the arcane journal has some, like, named character stuff and, like, some of the more niche items. But, yeah. Yeah, it's so not required, but helpful. And then we are getting a battle box. So a battalion box, just like for the dwarves and Britannians and everybody else who's come out. Yep. This one comes with 44 minis in total, 32 chaos warriors, which is a lot. It is a lot. 10 chaos knight, and two chaos chariots. So yeah, these were the ones that were still available up until the Slaves to Darkness box <laughs> came out. And then it updated. Yeah. The uh, War Horde of Eternus kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And these, the versions. these chariots are still the current ones for iOS, yeah. <laughs> which is so dumb. 
but, yes. but now on square bases. All rectangle. Yes. And uh, that being said, that does mean that all of these are in plastic and hold up pretty well for plastic. Yeah, they do. Um, the Warriors of Chaos, the Warriors themselves, um, are pretty, like, blocky and stoic, but that was because of the design of the square base. Um, yeah, these guys fit better on square bases because, and they're holding their, which is a criticism of them from Age of Sigmar, right. is it was kind of a pain to paint these guys for round bases because they're holding their shields in front of them and they're very, like, difficult to get to all the bits. Well, now you can see why. <laughs> yeah, because they have to be or else they're not going to fit. Uh, whereas the new ones are much more, like, open, but still wouldn't fit on these. So, I mean, I guess you could get it to work. But either way, um, you're right. These, these models are not that old and they are pretty good still. I, I might say this is the most consistently holding up army box we've gotten so far. I can agree with that. Uh, next we oh. have the reference card pack and dice. And, hey, look, Iron Warriors dice. Hey, look, uh, <laughs> exactly. The, the, hey, again, bright pips, dark background. Good, thank you. Yeah, we'll take it. It's, again, readable. Whatever, moving on. The Chaos Warriors that we just talked about. Yep, they uh, just... They come in boxes of 16. Which is kind of weird, but that's just how it was. I think it was because, like, the rank of 8 was specific for their base size at the time. So you would have 8 in the front and then 8 in the back for a 2 rank. Because, right. like, um, Dryads were also are, are also in 16s. Yeah, still are. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, we literally saw these guys about 20 seconds ago. <laughs> what we didn't see, and what's a little weirder, is the Chaos Warrior upgrades, which is halberds or axes, so basically... Cast Warriors with great weapons or Cast Warriors with halberds. Yeah. Uh, these are metal. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, you're right yeah, there. Metal. <laughs> when was the last time we had a metal upgrade sprue? Um, oh, my God. No, I have no idea. It's usually so a Forge World. Super glue out because if you're gluing metal on plastic, you, things can get a little weird sometimes. That's true. The last one I had turn, turned to do a gremlin and tried to stab me. That's because you fed it after midnight. Oh, yeah, that too. Uh, we have the Chaos Chosen and Command. This looks to be the same... No, these are not the same kit. I don't no, think no, so. No, this is a different kit. No. This is Chaos Chosen or Chaos I, Warriors on crack. I was thinking uh, that the Chosen and the Command were the same kit that you could build either. Oh, no. Two different metal smithy ah, sets. Ah, I, mean, um, I think they don't. Oh. Okay. They hold up for metal. They, they do hold up for metal. They're... They're not, like, weirdly proportioned. Like, not too weirdly proportioned, I guess. Your command set, so you got your banner carrier. Is there a musician here, or do they just, like, chop stuff down? I, I'm pretty sure that they don't have time to dude. Oh, uh, no duding? Oh, he does? Oh, yeah, you're right, he does. Right. This but, guy is true. Yeah, no, one's, no one's playing flute and chaos here, right? It's sloppy bile piper and no one else. <laughs> it's mostly hidden behind this middle guy's axe. So. Yeah. <laughs> So no, these at least hold up, but they are metal and gonna be pretty big, chunky metal too. Yeah, they are. Uh, speaking of, there's some metal in here. Uh, yep. So we have a slew of classic warriors. Again, we have the champion of chaos and sorcerer of chaos, both in plastic, which are very good, pretty, pretty recent models. Yep. Uh, the what is this one? The, the Chaos Lord on Manticore is also in plastic. Yes. I've actually seen one of these recently. One of our friends brought it in. Um, and yeah, it's, I was going to say, uh, it looks gold better. Gold gold these. It looks better than this paint job gives it credit. <laughs> I agree. This paint job doesn't give it a lot of, uh, as good as it is. It's actually a lot better than this, I think. Yeah. And the angle, I think, is not great on this one. That's fair. That's fair. It's actually a decent whole model that holds up. You also have, in metal, a Chaos Lord. On Demonic Mount, which is, you can see this is the inspiration for that new Harbinger model. Yeah, the, the, the Nurgle. Nurgle loved. Yeah, this model, this model's still sick. I like this model. Mm -hmm. um, I actually like the the Chaos, Sorcerer of Chaos on Chaos Steed, although I don't know where his head is and where his neck is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Because um, he has, he has a, a little skull here, and then he has like what looks to be a helmet down here. The only thing, yeah. the only thing I don't like. Oh, and then he, there's another skull over here and another little guy. Dang, that's a lot of. The only thing I don't like is the horse. The horse's teeth. Look at him. Eh, it, it's it's a little old. That's maybe not the best part, but I think it's okay. We've seen worse horses. And then you've got, you've got discount Slambo over here. Yeah. Why isn't this just Slambo? No, it is not just Slambo because Slambo is the one who's 
specifically holding his out in the, the a specific way. No, I mean, like, like actually... why didn't they just give a Slambo again? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Probably because <laughs> there's a Slambo lookalike in the Cargo's Ravagers kit. Oh, that's true. I actually, yeah, I, honestly, the wizard's growing on me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I like him. These guys are not, the, the Slambo knockoff has a little bit of the weirdness in, in proportion to, like, his head. But the other ones are pretty good. Yeah, I like these. Yeah. I think all of these hold up pretty well, and most of the time when they bring back these metal characters, they're not too expensive. Yeah, we've seen them as low as, like, what, 20 bucks? 15? I think one I mean, was they're, 18. They're GW model expensive, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're paying 18, 20 bucks for a single metal figure. Okay. But within the realm of GW, none of them are egregiously, like, $40 or something like that, at least not so far. Right. The ones on mounts tend to be a little more. Yeah, my, my guess is that the, the Nurgle guy on demonic mounts probably going to be, like, 30-ish, 40-ish. Yeah. Now, as for the ones that probably will be more, we get the monsters groups. So we've got in plastic, dragon ogres, mm -hmm. a kaim, and a dragon ogre shagoth. Uh, these are all plastic. They're, and yep, they're all they're plastic. Okay. I'm I'm not a fan of the dragon ogres myself. Like any any of that line. For me, my problem is I'm not a fan of ogres. I mean, and fair. these capture the ogre very well with a dragon back. So, like, since I'm not a fan of ogres, they're I'm not a fan. Uh, the Shag the Shagath, I actually like the best. It's kind of like little, I don't know, almost Velociraptor lower half. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, where'd those extra set of arms come from? I don't know. <laughs> Chaos, so part of that is you don't understand. <laughs> yeah. And then once again, for the Chimera, this also holds up pretty well. I mean, he's in the, like, leaping pose, which I don't know why they really like Chaos in the leaping pose. It gives it gives sense of action and danger as yeah. opposed to standing there. You know, stoic heroicism is for heroes, not for chaos. It's true. Speaking of chaos and not being stoic or heroic, the other the next three are in Forge World Resin, which is Skin Wolves, Spawn of Chaos. Oh no, those those two are the only resin ones. Sorry, uh, the rest are in metal. So yeah, so the Skin Wolves. Um, if you like, oh god, what are they called for Necrons? Oh, um, flayed ones. Flayed ones, yeah. So these are flayed one werewolves, kind of. Flayed one furries. I don't remember from their lore whether the skin they wear is because they are trying to get it back or if it's their skin that they tore out of. That's a good question. I don't, I don't remember which one it is, honestly. It's one of those two. I think it's their skin that was theirs, and they, like, you literally tear out of it as you, as you turn into a wolf. These are actually really cool models these are i'm gonna say these are the best werewolves i have seen games workshop ever do yeah i i agree with that i really like these they're gonna be in resin so they're gonna be a little tricky to work with but i'm probably gonna get a set yeah those are those are awesome uh, for some reason i never knew this kid existed uh the only reason i knew it existed is because it's in total war warhammer oh fair enough and i don't play that so. <laughs> yeah that's the only reason i knew it, whether they're the uh, north skins kind of heavy infantry unit right infantry monster unit they, they, they messed things up uh, speaking of messed up <laughs> the, the giant chaos spawn. spawn the spawn of chaos which holds up pretty well and I think you could use that for so many things I like oh, yeah. the mouth on the side of him it's just like screaming for no reason ah, I like to think that one's singing opera at all times <laughs> it never stops even when he sleeps even when he sleeps well, oh, I don't think this guy gets to sleep. <laughs> I think you turn into this, run and, and run until you kill everything or something kills you. That's I don't right. think these things go to go to bed. Yeah, honey, how was your day? Not <laughs> <laughs> great. We can't wait to spawn. Oh well, you know. Uh, in in metal, we have the chaos trolls, mm -hmm. which are appropriately terrifying, especially the one on the left with the mouths growing out of it and they're kind of emaciated, which is weird for trolls. Yeah. Because they're, like, known for eating everything. I, I will say I do not look forward to putting those metal arms on in metal. Oh, God, no. God, those are not going to want to stay. You're going to have to pin those. But I think the kit looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is um, really interesting. Again, I've never seen this kit before. Yeah, like... I think, hold up, like, I love the crystal things growing out of them for chaos. I want them to redo this one in plastic and then get rid of the Fellwaters, because I hate the Fellwater trolls. <laughs> yeah, same. 
uh, seeing the things I don't necessarily like, the Chaos Ogres and the Chaos Ogres Command Group, who are just orcs, but with beards. Yeah. And not, and, not, and, and pink. <laughs> yeah. They Again, are. the part of the problem is I don't like ogres, so I'm biased, but these look a little goofy to me. Yeah, the middle ones definitely look like what they inspired into orcs. Yeah. Like modern orcs. Yeah, but I, I don't like either. Oh my god. I just realized the on the unit, the very right hand one has a, a face on his arm. Yeah. Or does he just yes. have two heads? I think he's got two heads. Oh, okay. I think his bicep comes below that. Gotcha. Okay, well that's less egregious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you yeah, know, chaos. Chaos. But then we swing right back into awesome with the return of the hell cannon. Yes, this is honestly one yeah, of my <laughs> favorite models. <laughs> this is a lot of people's favorite models, and for good reason. Yeah. Uh, it is four drilled resin, which I, I'm glad it's not metal. Yeah. I think there was a metal hell cannon which you could put in a sock and kill someone with, um, but. This one holds up pretty well. Like, the, the cast dwarves look suitably menacing with their helmets and their mm -hmm. spiky beards, and the cannon itself just looks... It's going to be hard to paint that fire effect, but if you can pull it off... Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Isn't the lore... So it's, it's like, tacked in the back to the ground? I heard, yeah, so... I've heard the lore... Possessed. Yeah, is it's possessed. <laughs> so it's they're basically preventing it from running into the opponent and just slaughtering them. Yeah, because it, um, it feeds on souls, like, and it wants to consume souls, so you have to load skulls and stuff, and it fires out soul energy, but then, at least in, so I believe in old Warhammer, I don't know about the new rules, and I know in the Total Warhammer games, it can refill its ammo if you get it into melee. Nice. <laughs> because it just consumes more souls. God, this model's so sick. Again, I want them to redo this so in plastic. Yeah, I mean, I think it holds up pretty well in resin, but I would like a plastic version. Yeah, I mean, especially if they bring back the chorves. That's the thing, is, like, when if if and when they bring back cast chorves to Age of Sigmar, this will be a kit that is in plastic in some form. Probably won't look exactly the same. Yeah, it is iconic enough. Yeah, I love it. And then on to not chaos -y dwarves. So these are made-to-orders. Everything else is not made-to-order, but these are today's made-to-order stuff. All of it is in metal. And all of it, most of it, I think actually holds up pretty darn well. I would have some arguments on some of this. I said most. <laughs> uh, uh, five dwarf lords. Um, five for the dwarf lords and their mountain kings. Wait, no. Uh, I especially like pirate dwarf lord with a gun. Yeah, like, the only thing that throws me off is, like, the one on the left and the one on the right are in the exact same pose, but they're not the same guy. Because and they're not, and they're and they're metal, so they're not the same kit. Right. Well, I was thinking like if they just had swappable arms, but they don't because like the beards are okay. entirely different, the clothes are entirely different, and then the other three are also in the same pose, but they're also not the same guy. <laughs> I really like how their mustaches flow over their arms. But that was a, an intentional decision by the dwarf, because he could have just let it yeah. go like on the other side of his arm, but no. No. No, I, I like all of those. These uh, ones, I yeah, think, are just, suitably goofy. I don't even think... These, uh, for me, I don't see these even as goofy. I think they just kind of hold up as, like, grumpy dwarf lores. You, they, th Their proportions uh, are a little... Because of the proportions, they're much smaller than modern dwarves. Yeah, true. But besides that, I think they... I th yeah, these aren't in goof territory for me. I think I think they're just on the other side of goof, goof territory for me. That's fair. Uh, the next three are... Thane with Grave Weapon and a Thane with Battle Standard next to a King on Oath Stone. I don't know. I don't think these were named. Um, what the actual heck is up with the standard guy's face? The one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's saying, hey, come here, kid. <laughs> you want some free candy? It looks like he's doing the kung fu, like, come fight me thing. You know? Yeah, he does. Um, honestly, that smile, I like these that more. <laughs> I like uh, these more than the last I ones. Like the pipe. I like the pipe of the thing a lot. I like the pipe. I For some reason, that creepy face, like, makes me feel his personality more. Yeah, I will say that they have more personality besides Grumpy. Yeah. And the king, I think, <laughs> just looks good. Um, yeah, I, I like the king. I like his helmet. 
It's like the helmet of uh, Nyat's not from RuneScape. <laughs> There's an, a reference for Cody and Cody alone. Wow, you're gonna make me bring up that helmet of <laughs> Nyat's not? It's just the standard winged Viking helmet sure. thing. It's which we'll get to. <laughs> yeah, but these are cool. And then you have three dwarf runesmiths with their runesmith stuff. I I don't know what the top one's doing. Like, uh, nope. Uh, it's neither. not a gun, is it? But anyway, they all look pretty good. Uh, the, the lower left one I actually liked the least, and I think that's because they didn't do a great white beard paint job, honestly. No, they didn't. Like, the other the other beards are, like, really detailed, and that one's, like, eh, paint it white, put some gray in it. Now, uh, we get, once again, to Slayers. So that is Slayers of Legend. Um, um <laughs> it's, uh... These are... So these are the most amazing models that have ever been created. Yep. Um, They're perfectly 100% flawless. You can see um, the, like, detailed depth and background of every character. Um, <laughs> the bottom guy on the right looks like he just saw something on Reddit eye bleach or something. Oh, no. Um, I like the eye patch. Again, I don't... Dang it. Slayer Dwarves should dye their beards orange, too. That's the one thing the Fire Slayers got right. Yeah, that's so weird that it's like, uh, I'll have my, I guess there's the pride of being a slayer and having the orange hair, but there's also like the pride in having your... Well, it's, it's not pride, it's shame. That is the thing. Like, a, a slayer is a shamed dwarf who is oh. a noble death to avenge what, because they screwed up and it's like, oh, I, I <sighs> did something dishonorable. I am going to die notably in battle to make up for my sin. So the orange is not supposed... It's supposed to look scary, but it's not supposed to look... It's not a good thing. It's, it is supposed to be a giant moniker of I messed up in Dwarf society. And now there's a whole <laughs> faction based around it? <laughs> uh, well, no, Fire Slayers are not that anymore. They just took that aesthetic and uh, turned... The, they did like Slayers more than Fire Slayers, honestly. Yeah, the <laughs> uh, the bottom left one, the, his little hair, it looks like someone uh, grilled a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, no. All right, have we talked about these guys long enough? Yes, uh, okay, because cool. we now need to talk about... Um, I, I, I did not recognize Bugs Bunny without her horse. <laughs> GW can't paint female faces. Nope. And we now know that that applies to dwarves as well. Um, I have a feeling that this dwarf lady will look a lot better when painted by someone else. Um, the sculpt, though, I actually, like... I mean, it's this is a little in the territory of Goofy with the, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the boob armor. The shield boobs and the... I hate this model. <laughs> I, I see it for me. It's in the realm of oh, this is so dumb, and I love it. I want one. No, I hate uh, this. She was model. apparently from the the Grudge of Drong expansion, and she is of course named Queen Helgar. Which I was gonna say her name would be like you know Queen Hildebrand or something like that. <laughs> no, that's too uh, nuanced. <laughs> that's too nuanced. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna paint her and put her in an opera diorama, and that's it for this week. A quite eclectic. Yes. Fan of stuff, but some really cool stuff in here. Um, I kind of like all of it, really. Like the chaos is good. I'm not, I'm not into old world at all, so I won't get the chaos. But it all holds up very well. The the dwarves, I think, are these are some of my favorite made to order dwarves they've done so far. Although I still love the engineers and the steam drill powered miner carts better. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will probably get a box of the cast looks maniple because gosh dang, I want to paint those. They look so cool. Yeah. Those those. Well, that's it from us this Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be getting news on either more Skaven or Stormcast, or but it looks like they kind of interrupted it with Kill Team for this coming week. Uh, Nova Open's coming up, and there will be a preview show there, of course, which we will tune in for and give you the rundown on. That's on this Wednesday. Uh, well, okay, it's technically between this Tuesday and this Wednesday, but I'm going to tell you right now, this video will be out on Wednesday because I'm not going to be up at 2 a.m., <laughs> No, that's 2 a.m. British time. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, when, it's Wednesday yeah. night and a Thursday morning. You will probably see our video out on Thursday for that. Yeah. Because it, it's a little late for us. That's right. But we'll see you there. And until then, bye bye